Hi everyone, my name is Mark Sanders. I am a solution architect for Venify. Yes, let's get into some quick definitions. So HTTP is hypertext transfer protocol. The important thing to note here is that it is a protocol. It's designed to transfer information between network devices such as a laptop and your browser over to a file server or a web server, for example. Um, there's also some confusion sometimes around HTML versus HTTP. Um, HTML is a markup language, um, so it's sort of like the documents or the language that makes the document that then HTTP will transfer across. Um, but they don't have to be tied to one another. So, for example, you can use HTML without HTTP. You may have FTP um, transferring HTML pages, and then you may also have HTTP transferring XML docs. So they don't have to work exclusively together. Um, the next part, let's look at the communication process between for, for HTTP. So here again, it is this application layer protocol and um, it is, so I've got this user and he or she wants to go to ilovecats.com. So they type in HTTP, www.ilovecats.com and then their browser goes over to the I Love Cats website and then the web server then responds back to the HTTP response with a status code in the web page data, goes to the browser, and then this user now gets to see um, his or her I Love Cats web page. So they can read all they want about cats, right? So if, you, if we look about you know, World Wide Web in the early years, this is what Yahoo used to look like. Um, you would go there and you could read all about arts and humanities, computers and education, entertainment. You could read, read, read into your heart's content. Um, you could also go to someone's web page had similar interests as you. HTTP was great for that. Um, the problems with HTTP, it was not encrypted. So if, if I'm reading a site, there's no guarantee that what I'm reading, someone's not spying and, and reading what I'm reading. Um, there's no data integrity. So someone could change something in the middle of that data stream, and I would not know that that's happening. Um, there's no authentication as well. So when I think I'm going to ilovecats.com, am I really going there? Or am I being transferred to a different page? I would not know that either. Um, but really, who cares? Back in the early days of the internet, we're just reading web pages. I'm reading about cats. I'm reading about whatever I want. And uh, it didn't really matter. Um, but what changed? Um, online shopping changed all of that. So with um, e-commerce, we needed to move to security. And if I need to buy things online, what do I need? I need privacy. Um, we need encryption. We need to make sure that if I'm entering my credit card, it's actually going to be secure when it goes across the wire. If I'm saying, hey, Mark Sanders at this address and my phone number is this, I need to make sure that that data is encrypted as it's going to that online vendor. We also need to make sure that there's integrity, data integrity. Um, if I enter something, I want to make sure that it gets on the other end exactly as I entered it. And conversely, if I read something, I want to make sure that I'm reading it as exactly as entered coming back to me. And then there needs to be authentication as well. So if I think I'm buying a book from, or if I'm buying something from I Love Cats, I want to make sure I'm buying something from I Love Cats, not I Love Dogs. And so we want to make sure that, you know, who you're talking to is actually who you're talking to. And so um, along comes HTTPS. It is an extension of HTTP. Um, it really kind of didn't replace. It's, a, it's an extension of. All right. And again, it's a communication protocol. Um, it was originally encrypted using SSL which really is just an older version of TLS. And so the three principles of HTTPS goes back to what we just looked at, confidentiality, meaning the connection's encrypted, there's integrity, the data has not been changed, and there's authenticity, meaning that I'm, you know, I'm looking at the I Love Cats, it's exactly where I think I'm going is who I'm talking to. So let's look at the communication process. So I left um, on the left side for HTTP for reference purposes. So on HTTPS, you'll notice there's SIN acknowledgments going back and forth. This is the TCP and the um, TLS connection. The, the encryption is happening here. The authentication, making sure who you're talking to, that all of that's happening up front. Then you'll notice there's HTTP part in the middle. So the same process that's happening over here is happening here. It's just wrapped around security. That's where the extension comes in. And then once that session's complete, you know the connection gets broken down and the termination ends. There's a lot of details here, um, but I'm not going to go over that. There's other videos on um, our site if you want to see that information. And then some interesting stuff that you may want to um, read more about, HTTP ilovecats.com. If this is HTTP, it's using port 80 by default versus HTTPS, 
the secure part, ilovecast.com uses default port 443. Um, if you go to your favorite website right now, it's probably encrypted um, using um, TLS and you'll see the little lock symbol. So I kind of give you a picture of that. Most browsers, if you click that lock symbol, you get a drop down, you can view the certificate. Um, so HTTPS is based on TLS and X509 certificates. It's asymmetric encryption. Um, you can check out a video that I did not too long ago about asymmetric versus symmetric encryption. It, TLS all supports simple and mutual modes. Simple mode just says, hey, I'm, you know, I'm logging into this ilovecats.com. Are you really I Love Cats? Mutual authentication says, hey, I'm Mark Sanders. I'm logging into I Love Cats. And we're mutually making sure that we're talking. I know that I'm talking to and it knows who it's talking to. So they're kind of the simple versus mutual modes. And then quick um, data points about um, HTTPS. In 2014, Google provided a rankings, a search engine optimization rankings that if you're using HTTPS, they, they bumped your rankings. And then in 2018, the browser started marking HTTP sites as not secure. So um, you can still see this on some sites. If you were to go to a site and say that they're not using HTTPS, the browser say, this site's not secure. Are you sure you want to proceed? So that sort of the browser and tr trying to encourage um, website administrators to you know, go to HTTPS so that they don't get that warning that's not secure. I think roughly 79 or 80 percent of websites are now all using HTTPS. So um, it's gone quite a bit since 2018, 2019, jumped up to, you know, 80 percent. All right, so the summary, HTTP worked great for read-only internet. This is not so good if you're doing e-commerce where we need security. The three principles HTTPS, confidentiality, integrity, authenticity. And then oh, I just mentioned almost 80% of our websites now use HTTPS. And also you can check out additional videos on our YouTube channel. Um, hope that was useful. I said, if there's more information you'd like to check out, please leave a comment. I'm always interested to see what you thought. Uh, feel free to reach out to me or any of my peers if you want additional information. And thank you very much for your time today. Appreciate it. Still have questions? Turn to Benefy, the machine identity experts. Check out our channel or visit Benefy.com to learn about all things encryption, certificate management, and more.